Hey, what's up, y'all? I bought the cheapest Easton Mako online. Oh, that's getting over that fence. It only cost me $30. It's a 34 inch uh, 2014 model. It's in decent condition uh, considering it was $30. It has a bunch of chips, chips all along it. Uh, that's to be expected. The end cap, pretty worn out, doesn't even have the Easton logo. And down here, right by the barrel, or right by the connector piece, there's two cracks. But the connection piece looks to be in good condition. Uh, I did have to re-grip it. A few months ago, I was looking for an Easton Mako, but they were about 100, 150 used. And I figured I wasn't gonna buy one. I really didn't want one that much for that price. They're decent condition, but they're still used. Um, so then a few weeks ago, I thought maybe I'll find the cheapest one I can so I can swing it. This was a bat when I was younger. Um, I, it came out in 2014. That's a bat I really wanted to, uh, I really wanted to use. I wanted to try out. I wanted to get for myself. I never got it. I never tried it out. So let's try it out today. speed is 90.2 miles per hour. Okay, first one 90, that's not bad. Get over that fence. Exit speed is 88.3 miles fence. per that's, hour. I think that's Ready. 320 or 330 there. Exit speed is 90 miles per hour. Okay, 90 again. Ready. Out of the first six swings with the real baseballs, the new baseballs, I got up to 90.2. I feel like there's a lot more in this. Um, it didn't read one or two of them, and I did get up to 90 with an old baseball while warming up. So I think there's a lot more. Honestly, I think I could get 93, 94 maybe. Oh, that's bad. I let that get deep. Said speed is 88.9 yep. miles per hour. Good. hit that pretty well, but I don't know. I almost got to the fence out there. It's about 330, 340. That ball doesn't want to read today. Oh, that felt good. Exit speed is 92.2 <laughs> miles per hour. There we go. Ready. 92.2. That's a good start, but we're going to keep going. Oh, that felt good. Exit speed is 91.6 miles okay. per hour. 91.6. Let's really get down to this. Hit her hard. Oh, that's a rocket. Exit speed is 90.8 miles per wow. hour. Okay. Not Ready. as good as I thought. Oh, that felt good. Exit speed is 90.8 miles okay. per hour. Again. Ready. Oh, that came in. That came up. Thanks. Exit speed is 91.5 miles per okay. hour. Okay, not bad. Ready. I've been 91.5, 91.6, and 92.2. That's not bad. If you recall from last week's video with the BESRs, I was around 94. A couple weeks ago, I did get up to 96, 97 with BESR, but. You know, that was a really, really good day. So currently it's two miles an hour behind the BESR bats. Not too bad for a, you know, an older composite, you know, $30 bat that has a few cracks in it. Exit speed is 89.9 okay. miles per hour. That went far, it was still 89, Ready. but probably about 330, 340. Really cut that. And that's the same ball that doesn't want to read. Oh, that was good. It's not going to be that high, though. It is 92.3 miles. Oh, wow, per that was hour. high. Okay. Ready. 92.3, that's higher than the other one. Oh, dang it. Exit speed is 89.9 .9 miles per hour. I don't know what that said. 89.9.
It was a pretty good swing, but I sort of bailed out. I'm really getting the ball up front, if you can't tell, because everything's in the air. Ooh, that felt good. Oh, of course it didn't, Rita. Of course. Dang it. All right, we're going to take a few more swings, but overall, I really like this bat. Um, it feels really easy to barrel up. There's some of them that I think I hit harder than I do, so it seems like forgiving. You know, you don't you don't notice that you hit it and miss hit it as much. Um, it's got a huge barrel on it. Obviously, really cool looking bat. I put the white tape on it to make it white, you know, all the way down to give it that slick look. I don't know about that. It's a little short of that bench. Heck is 89.9 yeah. miles per hour. Let's get that elbow down to it. Drive it. Oh! Its speed is 85.5 yeah, miles per hour. It wasn't a bad hit, but Ready. I hit that off the end. Oh, yeah. That's over that fence. Speed is 90.1 no, mile not. per hour. Exit speed is 91.3 miles per hour. That wasn't bad. 91.3, I top spun that. It's been throwing it all over the place, so I really have to adjust. Oh. It is 89.3 miles per hour. Almost carried the fence. I got that off the end a little bit. Sun's going down. I'm going to take one more round. Try to hit higher. I need to get the ball to be a little closer because I've just been getting under the ball a lot. I've been having to scoop it because it's really been diving like this, diving out here. And so I've been coming up like that, which reduces the velocity a little bit. And yeah, try to hit it as hard as we can. All out. Oh, that felt good. Exit speed is 93.2 miles per hour. Ready. That's what I'm talking about. 93.2. Let's go 94 right here, baby. that I started falling forward. Exit speed is 86.6 .6 miles per hour. We got this. We got this. Hit as hard as we can. Bam. Oh. I smoked that. Exit speed is 90.7 miles wow. per hour. Okay. Off the end. Too high to hit that hard. Off the end. Two more chances to tie the BESR bats. Oh, that's getting over that fence. Exit speed is 93.5 miles per hour. Hardest Ready. ball and furthest ball. That went like 350. That felt good, but that's not 94. No way. Exit speed is 91.9 miles per hour. Ready. Not bad. Let's make it this one. Oh, what about that? Exit speed is 91.5 uh, miles per hour. All right, that's Ready. it. That's it. Ball landed all the way over the fence, all the way there. Obviously, it probably rolled a little bit, but that was probably, I think, left center. That's about left center right here. I think that's 340 to this fence, so we might have carried it like 350, 360. I appreciate y'all watching. You guys saw I got up to 93.5 and hit that ball like 350, 360. I freaking smoked that. Um, this bat is nice, uh, feels good, like balanced, very balanced, easy to swing. You can definitely tell when you get it off the end, but when you get it in on the handle a little bit, uh, maybe it's because it has this big barrel, uh, it still feels like you barreled it up. You don't quite hit it as hard, but it still feels good. Um, feels like a really nice balanced bat, and for 30 bucks, 
uh, in a BB core bat going up against BESR bats, like uh, 93.5 compared to, I think I got like 94.2 or 94.3 last week. Um, that's good, keeping up with that. Uh, maybe BESR bats aren't as hyped as, you know, they seem to be, or maybe it has to do with the fact that it's soft toss. That, you know, that I'm sure that has an effect on it. Uh, maybe the difference is pronounced when you get to batting practice or game time. But 30 bucks, I really like this Easton Mako. We're gonna see more of it for sure. I want to compare it. One of the main key selling points that Easton had was that it uh, produced the best bat speed or top notch, top level bat speed um, because it's very easy to swing. So I want to take it up against the Reebok Vector O, the one with the hole, the bat with the holes, and see because that Reebok Vector O, I'm able to get up to 80 miles an hour with the holes, uh, bat speed, which is really good. And if this thing can keep up with that, that'd be pretty nice. Thanks for watching again. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad I bought this bat. 30 bucks, that's a steal.